You all know that moment when you think you're right, but then you're not sure if you're right, so you go to check to see if you're right, and then you find out that you're not right? Yeah, I had one of those recently. <coughs> Greetings fellow Vita fans, this is James, PS Vita at 2am, coming at you once again with another exciting video. If we hearken back to about, oh I don't know, what's it been like, two weeks or so now when I made that June 2019 video, yep, it's rearing its ugly head again, isn't it? And that can never be a good sign. Well, let's get this moment of true confessions over with. Well, I had mentioned during that segment, towards the end, that there was a new game coming out soon called Bouncy Bullets, releasing sometime later this June. However, I didn't have any actual footage to go with it, only that stock picture that you saw like three times in a row that was repeating itself. Yeah, I'm kind of good at doing that. I was even thinking that it was going to be something similar to Chicken Range, you know, everybody's favorite Vita game. And based on what I was saying, I was telling people, well, it's probably best to get it just for, you know, the trophies or something like that. I was even literally telling people in the comment section that the only use this game is good for is trophy fodder. And uh, boy was I ever wrong about that. We finally have gameplay footage to show and what in actuality it is is an FPS game a first-person shooter yeah how long has it been since we've seen one of those on the PlayStation Vita like seriously numbers don't go that high I was expecting this when we actually got this mind blown yeah we got ourselves a first person style shooter in 2019 on the playstation vita let that sink in for just a little bit <laughs> i'm starting to get scared i feel like there's some dark forces at work here and it looks like we have some info finally here we go bouncy bullets is a colorful vibrant first person shooter that will task players to traverse wonderful terrain in a bid to reach the portal that awaits them at the end of every level getting to the end won't be easy though since one bad leap is enough to send you back to the beginning of your current level and if you run into enemies they will shoot you Ooh, didn't see that coming to counter this armed with a gun of your own that's loaded with bullets that uh bounce you have the the option to shoot first and rescue the occasional friend. Features. Four worlds made up of 12 levels each. 48 levels in total. Plenty of colorful terrain for players to bounce around on and shoot enemies. Friends in need of rescuing. First person exploration and combat. In-game leaderboards. End of quote. Okay, okay. I must admit, I'm a little excited for this. I'm not expecting this to be like a triple A experience or anything, but it's 3D. Yeah, I just, uh, I don't know why I said that, but it is. So I should like to formally apologize to the devs, publishers, and people in the comment section that I said this will most likely just be good trophy fodder, because it's so much more than that. Ah, <sighs> sometimes it feels good to be wrong. And while at the time I'm making this video, the title isn't out yet, just think of this as an appetite wetter, which is better than a bed wetter. Sorry, I had to stick a joke in there somewhere. It's been a whole 30 seconds. Well, I hate to cut this video shorter than my normal runtime, but the whole purpose of this video was just to show you what it was. Let me know what you guys think. Wow, I am still completely shocked at what I am seeing here. I don't want to get my hopes up too high, but I'll definitely be picking up Bouncy Bullets, a game that I had no expectation on, and now I have quite a bit more. And hopefully once E3 2019 is all said and done with, we'll have more info on this, since its release date is drawing pretty close. And on that note, since we don't have an official release date for this, all we know is it's coming out sometime in June, when I do find out the release date, I will put that in the description below. But let me know what you guys think. Does this shock you? I know it did me. And as always, fellow Vita fans, Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. It really means a lot to me. Love you all, and I'll see you next time. The following video has been brought to you in part by all of these wonderfully generous people over at Patreon, including Rodrigo Vera, Aaron Swanson, Heston Joseph, Kevin Enright, Jared Huddo, Joshua Williams, Ruben Gutierrez, BMF, Skullshire Tugel TCG, Adam Thury, Pierre Sterner, Erock, JR, Kyle Brooks, Saul Ramirez, and Phantom XRS. I have a number of exclusive perks available for backers, so if you yourself are interested in supporting the channel, check the links down in that description below. Well, I guess it's time for me to take some NyQuil and Tylenol. Probably I'll even mix the two together just to get over the shock I got. Wait, that'll probably kill me actually, won't it? Thank <laughs> you.